Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here and welcome to the rules slash overview video for the monthly speed modeling leaderboard challenge. Now, hopefully I can just use this same video from month to month to month, but if there are any special rules or special prize or anything, I will inject that information into the video right here. Otherwise, let's get into it and talk about how you can participate in the monthly Too Tall Toby leaderboard challenge. Ow! All right, so we're gonna start off here by going to twotalltoby.com. Now, if you go to the website twotalltoby.com slash leaderboard slash rules, you can see all of the rules for this leaderboard challenge, and I encourage you to take a moment and read through all of those rules. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you kind of the overview of what to expect from this process. So we start out up at the top here in the header bar, we choose leaderboard. Here you can see that the leaderboard page contains all of the past leaderboards, including the challenge drawings and the recordings from people who completed those challenges. So if you wanted to go back and watch the fastest person each month, well, you can watch the video of that person and maybe pick up some tips and tricks. You'll notice that at the top of the leaderboard page, there's three banners. There's one that says click here for speed run rules summary. Well, that banner is just going to take you to the video you are currently watching. So you really don't need to click on that. There's one here that says record your run and reply to this video, Synthwave video, September 2023. That video is very important because when you're done recording your run, you're going to post a comment in that video with a link to your recording. And then finally, there's a banner here that says September 2023 leaderboard challenge. So that's going to change each month, obviously. But if you click on that banner, you'll see the one and I'll come back here uh, to that original page two, and I'll come back here to that original page and three challenge drawings for this month. So what I like to do is I like to organize these in order here up at the top, and then you can actually use the shortcut control tab that lets you cycle through those open tabs. So maybe you end up taking those three tabs and just moving them off to a second monitor. And then if you learn that little uh, control tab trick, you can quickly cycle through them, a little pro move there. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to look at these drawings and you want to create these drawings using your 3D CAD system. You can use any 3D CAD you want. You can use uh, Onshape, you can use SolidWorks, Fusion 360, Inventor, Ansys, Space Claim, Alibre, FreeCAD, Katia, uh, Build 123D. You can use any 3D CAD that you want to create these models. But what I encourage you to do is practice, practice, practice. Make sure that every time you've got your workflow and you're getting the correct answer. And then you are ready to record your session. And so when you are ready to record your session, you go back here to this tab and you click on this button that says compete. And once you click on this button that says compete, you'll see that you are presented with the official Too Tall Toby clock. You can use control and the wheel to scroll this thing to make it a little bit bigger, to make it a little bit smaller. But ultimately what you're gonna wanna do is resize this window so that you can clearly see your CAD in the background but you can see the clock. The clock needs to be visible the entire time you are recording your run. So get that clock kind of over on one side of the screen, get your CAD system in place so it's ready, and then you're gonna hit record on your recording software. Now you can use any recording software you want. You can, for example, use OBS. That's what I use, it's totally free and it's great for recording your screen, but you need to choose a recording software and you need to begin recording your run and then click the green button that says start. And now, as you would imagine, you're gonna go through and use your CAD system to try to create these three models and come up with the correct mass. So you can see here, I know I'm time-lapsing this recording a little bit, but what I'm doing is I'm going through, I'm creating all the features that are required to complete this model, and then I am clearly showing the correct mass. Now you'll see here that the mass that I'm showing is 1.54 pounds. That is incorrect. It's not the correct precision. Okay, I'm asking for the answer here in x.xxx pounds. So what I need to do is go into my options, and then I, in my options, I can change the units for my mass properties. And now we can see that I'm coming up with the correct mass. 1.543 and you'll notice that I'm showing it very clearly on screen that is part of the rules you have to clearly show that you were able to come up with the correct mass now I go on to the second model I go through and I'm going to be creating the second model here now one thing to keep in mind as you're creating these models is that there are no Ivan exploits permitted the geometry that you end up with needs to be a perfect match to the geometry from the 2d drawing 
if you get there a different way, that's fine. If you, you know, if you use a different design intent than what's shown in the drawing, that's fine. But the final resultant geometry needs to be a perfect match to what's shown on the drawing. And uh, once I'm done creating that second model, you see that I've come up with the correct mass of 39.73 grams. So I click here when finished model two, and now I'm on to the third model. And as I go through and complete this third model, you can see that uh, I'm going to once again show the mass, and I'm going to clearly show that I got the correct mass here. And that correct mass is one three five one grams clearly show that you've you've calculated the correct mass and once i get that i can click here when finished with model number three now i'm going to be asked to input my username and the cad system that i used so i'm going to go through here i'm going to put in two tall toby and solidworks 2015 sp5 and there we go we see that solidworks 2015 sp5 and two tall toby are now on the leaderboard so now you can hit the stop button on your recording You've got a recording of your speed run and your time has been logged on the leaderboard. But now I need to get a copy of your speed run. So to do that, what you're going to do is take that recording, uh, post process it if you want to, maybe cut off the very end and cut off the very beginning. And then you need to post that recording somewhere. You could post it on YouTube or you could put it in a Google Drive or a Dropbox or post it on LinkedIn. You know, I don't care where you post it. Most people just post it on a YouTube channel. And then you need to get me a link to that video. And the way you do that is you go to this video here, record your run and reply to this video. Click on that banner. This takes you to the Synthwave video and go down into the comments of this video and say, hey, Toby, here's my speed run for September. And uh, then what you can do is you can just paste the link to your video and that's it. Post that comment and we are good to go. I'm gonna watch that video from that comment and if everything looks good, I'm gonna go in here on the leaderboard and I'm gonna give you a little green check mark for verified and I'm gonna take the link to your video and I'm gonna post it here on the leaderboard so everybody can see how you got to that super fast time in your leaderboard run. Now, as far as prizes go, the de facto prize each month is a Two Tall Toby t-shirt. And we select that prize from someone who has submitted a verified video at random. So you don't have to be the fastest time on the leaderboard to get the prize. I just take all the names of verified videos, I randomize those names, and I pick out a winner for the monthly prize. Like I said, by default, the prize is a Two Tall Toby t-shirt, but sometimes I work with partners and we get some more exciting prizes. Sometimes we get software as a prize, sometimes we get hardware as a prize. So if you're out there and you are a vendor and want to partner with me on the leaderboard challenge, please reach out to me. It's a very exciting time for the CAD community. And um, of course, if you are running this leaderboard challenge, thank you so much for being a part of this. I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any additional questions, let me know down in the comments below. Of course, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing everybody's leaderboard speed runs.